How's it going, everybody? Level M Diecast. We are going to roll super low today. We're bringing it way down. We're going to be cracking open Greenlight's new California Lowriders. This is series number one. Uh, this is pretty anticipated mix, I guess you could say. Pretty anticipated series. I think Greenlight is going to uh, have some pretty good stuff up their sleeve. First one we're going to take a look at, 1985 Chevy Caprice in gold. Uh, this is an existing casting, although it is a new modified base to make it a true, true lowrider. Uh, there is another one in the mix. This is the 87 Chevy Caprice in a black and dark blue with lots of pinstriping on there. Uh, moving through. Yes, of course, there is an Impala because there has to be. Uh, this one is the 63 Impala in a kind of metallic mint. It's a fantastic color. Uh, another uh, Impala in this mix. This is the 64 in pink with a whole bunch of deco on it. That one is especially eye-catching for sure. Uh, definitely seems to be the most uh, popular one thus far. Uh, we do have some new castings in this mix. Uh, 73 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. With those gold wire wheels. This is obviously the Coupe de Ville. Uh, but don't you worry. Because we also have the 73 uh, Sedan de Ville. Um, just absolutely breathtaking with that. Um, unfortunately, that particular version of an Impala is not in the mix. Hopefully, maybe in the future we'll get a gold one with gold wire wheels. Which would be amazing. But uh, let's bring it low and chop it up. All right, everybody, as we get down low, we're going to kick it off with this guy. This is the 85 Caprice in gold. Looking superb. You can see he's very, very low to the ground. It is a modified base from their original Caprice casting. Um, this one, the gold is uh, very, very striking. And I think the gold wheels really helps uh, set it off. Really pops uh, very well. Um, the, the tire tread looks a little aggressive. Um, would have been nice to have a little bit softer tread uh, look on that. It's, the tires just look pretty aggressive. But Temple prints look amazing. This is just a stock version. Just colored up. No pinstriping. No decos or anything like that. Uh, just, just gold uh, with a little bit of silver along the bottom. Very, very, very striking. Very, very... Uh, very nice to have just a regular lowrider. Um, you know, I know that pinstriping is a big part of the lowrider culture and all that stuff. But every once in a while, it's nice to get just a regular deco. And I think that this is a, a good start for them. So I really like this model. Uh, super, super dark tint windows on this guy for sure. Super dark. Taking a look at our base real quick. It is uh, numbered on there, 5034. There's going to be a number of uh, changes um to the base so you can see where the wheels sit on this guy kind of where he's at this is the um, original lowrider version um, where the axles are on the bottom uh, this is the uh, previous caprice that they did as a deco uh for a to be honest with you it was probably just a test bed to see if this is something that they wanted to do lowrider style um, this one looks ridiculous with all the pinstriping and stuff. The tampos are amazing. Uh, but that's just a little bit of a showcase just to show you guys just how much that bot, that uh, base has been modified from the original version. So we'll take this guy off. Uh, we're going to move on to our next Caprice. This is the 87 Caprice. Uh, this one is stark contrast to the other one. This one is super customized. Uh, lots of pinstriping deco on there. It is black with blue. Um, and some other colors in there, some silver and stuff like that. I like it. I like it. It's, uh, it's not over the top. A lot of these, uh, pinstriping, uh, decos kind of get kind of over the top, especially on real lowriders, but you, you want to use up all the real estate you have. And so they kind of pinstripe the entire thing. This one looks pretty good as a kind of a toned down version, I guess you could say. Um, still has the single headlights in the front, just like the previous version did. The Lowrider one had the quad headlight set up, which was a pretty, pretty nice change of detail. Uh, this one has not as dark windows, so that's kind of cool too. Something different as well. Um, again, like I've mentioned before, it looks like green lights kind of ditched uh, decoing up license plates. So 
You're not probably not going to see any license plates on any of these guys, I would anticipate. Uh, taking a look at the base, uh, this guy is numbered 327, so that's a pretty low number. Um, definitely like that number for sure. So they're going to be making ridiculous amount of these. Um, we're going to move on to the Impala. This is the 63 Impala in green. Like a metallic mint. This guy is absolutely flawless. Now I I mentioned that there was new castings in this mix. I believe this is a new casting as well. Um, I thought maybe just the Cadillacs were. But I believe this Impala is also a new casting. Um, we can take a look at the base when we take a look at the deets. Um, I do know that this casting is also coming in Black Bandit and some other stuff as well. So I'm fairly certain this is a brand new casting as well. But we will confirm that. Uh, again, green light, absolutely just amazing. The wire wheels are perfect. The color is amazing. The matching color interior is also amazing. Um, you'll notice that the uh, roof looks equally impressive. Um, I believe the entire roof piece is going to be plastic because they will more than likely make a convertible version of this. So the roof it does appear to be a little bit darker green. I'm not sure if that's just because it's plastic or if that's intentional, but the silver trim, silver door handles, and all that other good, superb detail around there looks amazing. Now you'll notice this guy does have a separate hood. He does have opening hood, which is a pretty rare feature with green light nowadays. Um, it's, it's very weird how they determine what does or doesn't get an opening part. The... Um, you know, most of the casting that you'll see, they'll have separate hoods, but they don't open. They're just meant to be interchangeable for different trim levels. It's very nice that this one actually has an opening hood. Um, this one's kind of bone stock, you know, just kind of lowered and stuff like that. Uh, when we take a look at the next one, we'll see if there's any kind of customization under the hood. Uh, this one's pretty regular with just your uh, V8 down in there with the air cleaner. But very, very nice detail. Very, very nice detail. Hood looks amazing. Works amazing. Taking a look at the base deets. Flip this guy around the correct way. 36, 32 is the number. So relatively higher number. I believe these are going to be production numbers in the uh, 10 to 12,000 range. So um, these are going to be you know, widely, widely available. There are those wire wheels. I believe that is a new wheel design too. That looks amazing. Just wanted to showcase those for you guys. Now we're going to take a look at the custom 63 Impala because I kind of see a little bit of a theme here. We kind of have a stock and then we have a custom, which is a great idea. It's a great idea. As a matter of fact, if you guys are a long time collector of green light. You'll know that they used to have a stock and custom line. Um, that was exactly that. So this guy looks amazing in the pink and this one is just such eye candy when you see it on the pegs. Um, you see it hanging there. It's just, it draws your attention to it. You can't miss it. I think that's why this one seems to be most popular. May not necessarily be just because of the design or anything like that. I just think that it's just such an eye-catching model that people kind of want it. Um, and it's very, very different. It's very unique. Um, it's very, um, very, uh, man, I can't even think of the right words. I want to say unique again, but I've already said unique. Um, I really want to know what you guys think about this deco. This is definitely something that's not a common thing for green light. I think this is definitely way out of their realm, which is a good thing. But I want to I want to know what your guys' opinions are on this particular pink version because this one seems to be the most uh popular of the bunch for sure. It's definitely not going to be my favorite. Um we'll get to my favorite later, but uh, this guy we'll see if he's got any detail differences under the hood. Let him kind of rotate around a little bit. Uh it doesn't look like it, but it does uh you know, they did put the effort into there to get the uh, surround in there, painted matte black on both of them. Uh, they both have uh, big block V8s in there with the orange. Uh, this one does have a different color cleaner um, in just standard black, I think. We have it roll around. We'll take a look at it. So, yeah, just standard black, which is kind of, kind of weird. Um, you would think that this one would be a little bit more modified or a little bit more custom than the other one. The other one had a silver one, so... I guess it is gloss black, so it's 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 good. It's good. 
This guy taking a look at the base deets. Holy cow, look at that number. 49. Oh, nope, nope. There's another number on the end of that. Uh, it's 490-something. 40, um, if you looked at the other ones, there is five digits, I believe. Um, yeah, there's five digits. So this guy's going to be 490-something. So yeah, for a second there, I was like, wow, that's crazy. Uh, there are the deets at the bottom. It does say copyright 2021 green light. So this is a new casting. So that's pretty nice, pretty nice deal. Uh, this guy is decoed up. Or I'm sorry, this guy is prepped for a tow hitch. So... Not that this should have a toe hitch on it, but he is prepped for one. Um, and then just taking a look at these nice chrome Kragers. Look pretty good. Got your white uh, wall tires. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. All right, we're going to move on to the 73 uh, Coupe de Ville. Uh, this is a very large casting. Uh, very large casting. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, I picked up that uh, Lincoln Mark V from Auto World. Um, it's, it's kind of one of the first big boat, 164 scale cars I picked up and it's just, it's just so cool. It's just so cool. And now I get to pick up this guy, the 73 Coupe de Ville. Um, it's just an enormous car. It's just an enormous car. Uh, green light did a fantastic job putting this in 164 scale. This is a new casting. Um, it's, it's not an attractive car in real life, <laughs> uh, to each their own. But as a as a model here, as a collectible, this is absolutely spot on. Uh, you got your cream colored vinyl roof. It is a tuxedo black. A lot of uh, silver trim along the sides and the top, and all that good stuff. A lot of chrome on the front and back with the bumpers. Uh, Greenlight did a absolutely fantastic job with this casting. Just absolutely incredible. Looks amazing. Um, every bit of what you think it would be, and it does have those really nice gold wire wheels on there this guy does not have any opening features i absolutely love this model it, they just this knocked it out of the park out of the park uh taking a look at the base now let's see if we get this rolled around the correct way of course this guy is set up for a tow hitch because of course he is 2021 green light 4012 is the number 73 cadillac coupe de ville such a good casting such a good casting but we're going to move on to what is going to be the personal favorite here at level M. This is the 73 Sedan DeVille. Um, if you guys watched my channel for a long time, you guys know I absolutely love large four-door cars. Uh, you'll know why I like the Caprice. Um, I like some other stuff as well, especially the Diplomat and things like that. I do like four-doors. I like sedans. I like big sedans. Um, this... One of the biggest sedans you're going to find right here. Absolutely enormous boat in a amazing like aqua teal. The color is fantastic. Um, metallic matching color interior. White vinyl roof. Incredible details front and back. The wheels though. Man, the wheels. The wheels, the wheels, the wheels, the wheels. This one is bone stock and to be honest with you the car in real life sits pretty low as it is um it's definitely meant to be just a luxury cruiser um it is not meant to be a fast car or anything like that it's just supposed to be super comfortable chill and relax in there uh and green light did a very very good job of representing that this is basically a stock version uh realistically and the wheels just really really drive that um persona home i i'm just blown away at how well uh, green light has done with not only this casting but this whole set has been absolutely top notch for sure uh taking a look at the base deets on this guy ten thousand six hundred and seven uh that might be the biggest number i've ever seen um typically you don't get into the five digits with green light but they knew that this set was going to be a hit uh this guy is set up for tow hitch just like the uh, coupe de ville was um and then again, just those wheels, absolutely unreal, unreal, just all day, every day, those crazy, crazy details on it, just, oh man, such a good model, such a good casting, so we're going to throw that guy back down on there, we're going to let him roll out, I appreciate you guys checking this out, uh, green light, California Lowriders, series number one. Uh, first set of six cars 
absolutely top notch, top notch. I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video. If you want this set, I, I highly encourage you to go get it. Um, this is showing up at Hobby Lobby as well. And um, yeah, let me know about that Impala though. Don't don't sleep on the Impala, right? Definitely want to know your guys' opinions. We're going to roll out. Level and diecast. Staying low. Peace.